<clears throat> Good morning, everybody. So, what I have for you today is something that I'm a little bit excited about. And I, I, I say that very um, carefully. Uh, I'm not used to going outside of my element of uh, trying out new companies. Uh, a lot of people know that about me, but... I am an open-minded person, and I do take a lot of consideration towards uh, other buddies of mine who uh, collect blades, and uh, they're always telling me new and exciting things about uh, the knife world. Uh, so this was given to me as a gift. Uh, it's very, very nice. Um, didn't have to. It's very, very nice of you. I really do appreciate it. Uh, a buddy of mine purchased four of these <clears throat> and figured this was the one that he did not want out of the four. <laughs> and don't know why he purchased four of them. But he went ahead and decided to uh, send one my way, and that was extremely nice of him. Thank you very much. Um, he knows that I'm a very <clears throat> a very big fan of the Quaken. He knows I'm a very big fan of Asian... Oh, sorry. Asian-inspired blades. And uh, he's like, I don't think you have this in your collection. Um, I've given him uh, a decent group of knives that I uh, was willing to let go. And uh, he felt bad, so he wanted me to have one. So we're like trading cards right now. It's kind of weird, but I do greatly appreciate it. That was very, very nice of him. So I figured, why not? You lose one, you, you, gain, you gain one, right? I don't know. Anyways, so today I have for you guys this company out of China. We'll go ahead and get into it, everybody. Let's talk blades, because that's what we're into. Real steel. Real steel. Uh, now, I haven't really heard of these guys. I had to look up a YouTube video on them, because I had no idea what this was. Um, a buddy of mine's like, hey, I'm going to you know, give you another knife. I really want you to take this and i was like all right man we want me to just review it and give it back he's like no i want you to have it uh i think you'd like it. i think you dig it it's it's up your alley so i figured i was like okay cool well, thank you very nice of you the epon or the ipon i'm not entirely sure um apparently this basically means like the top like the top uh what's that word <laughs> top martial arts kind of status or rank like the highest the highest kind of you know level in uh, in the martial arts i guess it's somewhere around there i can't really i don't really remember exactly how it was said or, or what the message was but that's what basically what the epon means is basically the top tier of your of your martial arts status i guess Carbon fiber, stock number uh, 7242. It's very interesting. Um, this box is highly shiny. <laughs> I know you can't really see it right now on the camera, but it's it's very... Uh, they really outdone it <clears throat> through a company out of China. They really made this box look very attractive. You got the, uh, the shiny red, and then you got the uh, very bold black real steel so <clears throat> i think that's really cool so i'll go ahead and open up this box right now <sighs> okay <sighs> sorry about that <laughs> all right so this is the uh second time i've opened this i've only glanced at things um i went ahead just want to throw it on camera so that goes with that obviously little padding and then uh, you get some literature and uh, literature is always fun um, so you got your warranty information yeah you got your little congratulations on your purchase of blah 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 the epon so here it is all the uh, all the specs right there. So locking mechanisms, liner lock. You got the steel blade of Bowler N690. And then you got the measurements right here. Carbon fiber G10. And then the weight. So obviously I'm going to cover those points in uh, real time. So that way you guys can get the real, <laughs> real steel. All right. And then I kind of looked at this. Um, 
this is kind of like the inner workings and that's really cool you get you get some uh, you get this so you kind of see the guts I guess of some of these knives that they have in the lineup um, and I'll flip this around so you guys can see that so different types of knives from real steel uh, and like I said this company I've never heard of this company before and um, apparently it's new not just for me but for the person who is uh, backed into collecting knives um, because of <laughs> I guess motivation on my part um, real steel like I said I've never never heard of them so this is actually kind of kind of nice so what I found really really attractive and interesting is the fact that the most knives that I'm used to come in like a plastic sleeve it, you gotta you know sometimes you gotta break the seal or sometimes you just gotta slide it out of the sleeve no this thing gets wrapped in a uh, microfiber cloth or some type of wiping cloth which is really nice and it actually does say real steel on there you can see that printed on there and so here it is here's the knife so it's not in plastic <laughs> so that's actually kind of nice and this this cloth is very it's very useful i can very much use this wipe down my blades or whatever so here it is in all of its curious glory one thing I really like about this that I can tell you right off the bat, I love carbon fiber. Well, here it is. So, <laughs> uh, does it provide any grip? Well, you would think it doesn't because of the texturing on this. It's like smooth here, smooth here, smooth here. But because it has these, uh, these lines kind of etched into the handle, it actually does provide decent grip. I was holding on to it you it's it's it works it's on both sides and it feels fine um the fact that it's a very attractive carbon fiber is is uh one thing that i really really enjoy so i'm gonna move this out of the way you guys can see that so we'll go ahead and get into the specs of this knife before i get into the very curious other things so because i'm already taking up way too much time kind of gawking over this so you have a cutting edge of three and one fourth, three and three eighths at the most, almost a four inch blade. It's four inches at the pivot. So you're going to go ahead and get me on that because it's a little bit odd. But right now you're almost at eight inches, probably like a little over like eight and one eighths inches. When it's closed, you got the handle length of four and a half inches exactly. All right. And then, of course, we'll go ahead and get into the weight of this bad boy. I'm kind of doing things a little backwards. Sorry, I'm still kind of waking up right now. Ah, pardon. All right. So, coming in at a very, very light 3.23 ounces. That's uh, that's actually staggering for me anyways. I'm used to, you know, 5, 6, 4, you know, but never 2 or 3. That's actually pretty damn good. For its size, it's pretty, pretty hefty. So here's another thing. We're going to go ahead and get into how wide things are. So the handle, you're looking at a 11.5, and the blade, you're looking at a 2.1. So pretty thin, pretty thin. And you got the, uh, it does have a very, very Tonto-y, Japanese-inspired look. It, it's got a very quaken -y look, and I really do like that. I really, really do. And here it is, N690. A symbol up there real steel very nice very nice very nice so <laughs> and here's my thing um if you're looking for this uh, i believe blade hq has it i looked it up and oh yeah they still have it it's at a 7150 so um it's under it's under 80 bucks so that's not too bad now, <laughs> one thing that really kind of sets me weird is all these. I'm not entirely sure what that's for. Why they did that. Uh, apparently, it's supposed to be for a little bit more support, more protection on the blade, I assume. Um, but I get mixed messages, and, and uh, I don't really... I mean, I, I kind of go off of whatever 
information I, I'm told rather than what I read, so please forgive me on that. I probably should have done my research before this, but I get a little excited when it comes to new stuff. So, uh, One thing that I really do love about this is that it is a deep carry pocket clip. The one thing that makes me worry a little bit is you can see the screws that are sticking up from that deep carry pocket clip. So I don't know if that's going to hinder how you carry this, because once you get underneath there and your fabric rides up, you're going to come to a stop at one point, and you're probably going to have to push it down even more, which there's space. There is space, but uh, you got the raised screws. Um, kind of perplexing to me is why they made these screws flat, but the pocket clip screws raised. You would think that it would be flush, so that way the deep carry pocket clip would actually be a little bit more easier to go all the way to its max carry, you know? But that's just me. I'm, I'm being nitpicky. I know uh, I'm, I'm not really complaining. This is just something that kind of raised an eyebrow. I'm going to carry it, see how it holds. Um, the only thing that kind of worries me is any pocket clip that has two screws. That's something to keep in mind. Um, you know, you don't want to get this caught on anything, but it doesn't look like it's going to. It's a very, very decent pocket clip. It's not raised too far for me to get, you know, too worried about that. And then, of course, you have this right here. So, yeah, it's a wave knife. It's a wave opening knife. But the the mechanism for that is all the way at the very top of this. Now, I saw a quick little video where they showed someone um, showing you that you could use your forefinger. And uh, you could use your thumb. And you can. You can do all those things. But he also went on a surface. He went on a surface of some kind. And he was like, and you could do this. And then you see him kind of... Yeah, so yeah that, that was that was a fail. Oh, and I just ruined the box. Try it again. Okay, so it's you get the idea. You go on a surface or something. I'm trying to get it on camera. It didn't really work very well. But you go on a surface and you press this on something in a in a... In a in a decent, confident, um, jerking fashion, and it should pop open with authority and lock open. Uh, it kind of reminded me of the, um, the tie light video from uh, Cold Steel, where they're showing how you could catch, you know, the little quillion on stuff on the person's belt or on a piece of fabric from your clothing or on your pocket. It just seemed a little bit, it kind of reminded me of that, but, uh, obviously this is all the way up here, so, you know, <laughs> it's a little bit odd, but it works. I find it easier to do it with my finger rather than my thumb because that's part of my grip. So if I keep it, keep my thumb here and then do this, it just seems like it makes a little bit more sense to me. At least my motor, motor, motor skills, motor functions, it kind of makes it work. Um, so yeah, <laughs> the Epon. Very, very beautiful design. Um, I've seen a couple other colors. They have these in various uh, color combinations, which are really, really awesome. I think there's one in kind of like OD green and black. Uh, another one that has black with uh, a little bit of brown in the lines. Uh, I think I saw one in blue. I'm not entirely sure. In another color, I can't really remember. But it's really, these are really nice. Real steel, really nice. Um, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to carry it around for a little bit, see how it goes. If you're wondering how sharp it is, me too. Let's go ahead and cut a little bit of paper. Why not? <clears throat> this looks pretty slicey, so. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. Shaving the paper, shaving the paper. Yes, I like that. I like that a lot. Now, it's funny. It's listed as drop point. I don't know. I mean, is that drop point? What do you... I guess. I mean, I don't, maybe I'm that tired. <laughs> I'm supposed to know these things. I, I And I do know them. I just... Maybe I'm just really that tired. I'm still waking up. It's a fantastic knife so far. The way it feels in the hand, I get a full grip on there. I can... You know, this jimping that's up here actually functions pretty well as far as, you know, putting the thumb here on the spine, or at least close to the spine anyways, and you still have a ton of handle. So I get a good grip on there. I have medium hands, so... And this works. 
this really does work so it's not too huge not too small obviously doesn't weigh very much i really do like that um closing it one handed is no problem opening it one handed is fantastic this is a fantastic knife so very 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 happy with it and thank you very much for sending it my way um it's very very nice very very nice uh but I got to be honest with you, like I said, this is a new company I'm not very familiar with, uh, Real Steel. So because this is my first Real Steel, I can tell you right now I'm pretty impressed. So far, it's a fantastic knife. Now how it carries and, um, you know, how it functions on a day-to-day -day will be, will be uh, learned. <laughs> All right, so anyways enough of that I really do uh, appreciate something new like that and that's actually a very very nice addition to the collection so alright everybody go ahead and slash that like button stab that subscribe if there's anything that I missed in this video because I'm a little tired today please let me know in the comment section down below please be kind be safe and carry responsibly I will see you all in the next video